Numbers from the Alzheimer's Association show just how devastating this disease can be. Almost 6 million Americans have Alzheimer's. That's expected to go up to 14 million by the year 2050. Someone in the U.S. develops the disease every 65 seconds, and it is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. But the impact of Alzheimer's can be felt by more than just those who suffer from it. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki DeVentry continues her series tonight with the toll the disease can take on caregivers. We've been married for almost 40 years. <laughs> and for the last five, Donna Gonglag has been her husband David's full-time caregiver, following his dementia diagnosis at the age of 55. And while he still has his memory, the Gonlags are getting household things like finances together. Yes, Kyle. How are you going to get through this? Well, a lot of people say, well, how are you going to get through marriage? You just have to be committed to it. And, and you've got to make up your mind that this is the way it is and this is the way it's going to stay and we're going to do it. The two of them together forever, for better or for worse. Sickness and health, it's all part of that, that vow 40 years ago. It does take a toll on caregivers. A million caregivers, including Donna, right here in New York. It's scary and Alzheimer's is scary. It's learning to live every day with it and um, having the knowledge of how to care for him, how to care for myself, how to care for our family. This disease takes a toll on caregivers both mentally and physically. Plus, between treatment, dementia facilities, and changes in employment, since caregivers often have to leave their jobs to take care of a loved one, well, it all adds up. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the total lifetime cost for someone living with dementia, well, it tops $350 thousand dollars typically because they do such a great job taking care of the person with the diagnosis of Alzheimer's that they um, tend to kind of neglect themselves. Sarah Harlock works as the program director for the Integrative Center of Memory at Dent Neurological Institute in Amherst. She is often the first person to meet with a family after an Alzheimer's or dementia diagnosis. I think it's important that they know that there is support out there and available to them. There are support groups around Western New York and education classes geared toward training and legal matters. We realize that caregivers don't don't have uh, a lot of spare time, so we try to make things available to them in different ways. Donna attends a support group every month. Go to support groups. Talk to somebody. The biggest message to caregivers, you are not alone. This diagnosis changes things, but it doesn't have to stop things. As for Donna and David, August will mark 40 years of marriage to love and to cherish. Love conquers all, or as I say, love conquers all. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.